امين وافقي حمدا لمن هداني لسنه العدنان محمد المخلص الحمد لله وحده والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اما بعد beware of being bored of patience as patience is very very important tool in one's life losing patience you had it you become blind and no one can help you anymore because you've lost the root of stability towards the calamity because your enemy shaitan jin is more patient on his task than you who is always in the calamities and turbulence remember this life you will always go through calamities because the enemy wants to remove what is pulsing in your heart the enemy is shaitan jinn now the enemy uses different different methods to attack son of adam and one of the method is through magic my main topic today is sihru dimagh the black magic in the brain sihru dimagh happens to a lot of people i have seen a lot of people who they have sihru dimagh i need you to watch this clip this brother have sihru dimagh the black magic in the brain he is consciously well 40% but what happen is that he is at also not well he prays salat he does everything but he is considered 50 50 meaning and sometimes he flips sometimes he's okay i've done ruhi on him few is bad and this is la uh, brother you can watch the clip inshallah by the will of allah إنه لمجنون إنه لمجنون إنه لمجنون the envious person takes the property either cloth or picture whatever belongings of that individual if he cannot find name he represents and he goes to the magician reasons could be so many also could be revenge like yesterday i've done ruqya on a brother who for 25 years he was suffering he had sihru intiqam in him he could not have money anyway he had multiple sihr one of it is sihru intiqam so he could not earn money everywhere he goes loses his job etc revenge is one of the reasons the individual goes to magician or because of envy or somebody has done something to him and he goes and revenges and say let me show him couple of month back there's a brother called me and he says i have done sihr on somebody i told him why he said because the person slapped me look at that look at the level the individual went instead of him reporting to us allah rabbul izza and being patient he went and did magic Now sihru dimagh how do they do it the magician sends multiple genes they go in the brain and stays in the brain or the ears and they destroy the individual the individual will either have conscious of 50% or 20% of himself the rest he's not him thoughts after thoughts whispers after whispers some end up in mental hospital and they stay forever or they just recover some that set uh, recently again there was a brother who came to me they've done sihr dimagh on him this brother is gone mental he is drinking alcohol the magic has led him to start doing haram and haram and haram why revenge intiqam that's the reason now sihr dimagh they send multiple genes they send it in the head in the brain and the gene stays in the brain and bombards the individual with thoughts the individual will be struggling in everything of his life sleep will be no sleep once he loses sleep he loses his brain he's going to lose that sleep because of the magic in the brain because his brain will be working 24/7 what are the symptoms of this magic forgetfulness 
in abundant saying things which is absolutely not correct crazy stuff love to be isolated love to stay dirty because of the magic no confidence confused feeling that everybody is against that person when the individual walks he thinks that everyone in the road laughs at him or looking at him heaviness in the ear stuttering when speaking or you'll hear speech crazy speech like the brother who just came a few months back he just utter one word just like that just like that every minute he says this does not care about his appearance getting thoughts to harm people suicidal thoughts when he looks at the mirror if he gets that opportunity he sees creatures in him a brother came a few years back to me he used to tell me she can you see somebody is going inside me and i cannot see him is only him who was seeing him we ask allah to protect us and make it easy for all of us so individual like this who's going through this needs help serious help from the family members if they cannot help then they need to look for help and it gets sorted one needs to look at the well-being of that person they need to put an effort for the individual to get back again to his feet i have read on a person who had sihr to make him crazy he was gone 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 alhamdulillah i did four sessions and alhamdulillah allah gave back his ability alhamdulillah so what's the way forward the way forward is number one you seek istiana towards allah those who are going to help that person because that person is in a very difficult state call upon allah make dua and read upon the person surah al-baqara full and then go and read surah at-takwir repeat seven times each and then go and read surah al-qalam seven times on the person take three spoons of henna one spoon of honey one spoon of olive oil seven spoons of rose water mix it together apply henna on in the individual head frequently and let him have hijama full head frequently and the individual will become better by the will of allah rabbul izza stay tuned for more to come inshallah by the will of allah اقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه انه هو الغفور الرحيم